Thank you. County leaders tell us they are prepared in case of the extreme cold. And right now we're keeping an eye on the energy power grid. We have zoomed in tonight. We want to show you this, I believe, is going to be the Viter area. Yeah, we're close to 2,000 customers are in the dark right now. We are also hearing about scattered power outages around the city of Orange. Uh, tracking the map there shows cl close to 1,200 customers impacted. So we'll call these scattered power outages at this point. Now, as I was saying, county leaders tell us they are prepared in case the extreme cold causes any major issues. Let's bring in 12 News reporter Gloria Walker. She's continuing our coverage with their plans. Gloria. Well, Jordan, especially in the Lakes region near Jasper is where I'm told it's supposed to get very cold and the leaders have been busy preparing for this Arctic blast. Good news about this particular weather event is that we're not anticipating any precipitation. County officials all over Southeast Texas have been busy planning and preparing for the Arctic blast. The good news? No precipitation was expected. So while officials remain on high alert, Jasper County Judge Mark Allen says they're ready. We've got a pretty good bit of rain, so um, we're just kind of ramping up. We're going to be monitoring. We're, we're, have, we're on conference calls with the state right now, with the Texas Department of Emergency Management. We've been interacting with them just to ensure that uh, what the weather, the true weather is going to be and also what resources may be available. From prepping your pipes to buying supplies to protect your home, time is running out to prep your house. Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick offering this last minute reminder. The concern in this case is that people stay warm, that they protect their pets and their plants, that they properly weatherproof their home, uh, that they wrap their outside pipes. Power outages seem unlikely, according to county officials, but this cold snap could cause other problems. It's made some drops in water pressures from some of the uh, city provided water utilities. So uh, I think people need to be prepared for that. Fortunately, it's a 48 hour event. So listen to officials and don't go outside unless necessary. And remember to check in on your neighbors as 12 News will keep you updated on this cold snap. In studio, Glory Walker, 12 News.